So you wanna be a self-taught developer in 2022? Reach the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's get into self-taught development and um, some of the problems that you guys are having. A lot of the self-taught developers that I find is no plan, just learn, 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 and everything just will just work out at the end with no plan and people will just be at your footstep to give you a job with no actual um, insight of industries or anything. Just learning HTML, learning PHP, learning whatever programming language of choice, and you'll just magically get a job. That used to be the case at one point, guys, when there were not a lot of developers, not a lot of coding um, infrastructure to have to worry about. But nowadays, companies have software and um, platforms and all that stuff to protect. So they just can't hire Joe, Joe Bro self-developer um, who have a HTML certification offline from this uh, no-name college or no-name school, they have to vet you out. So you have to have a necessary, not only education, but other factors we're gonna talk about in this video. So let me get you guys started first. If you haven't already, go ahead and comment below. I like to start a conversation each video as far as just what you're struggling with as a self-taught developer. We're gonna go over that checklist on what you need, but I wanna give insights on some of the stuff that either help you or what you're struggling with. So go ahead and um, let's start a conversation in the comment section so that you guys can tell me your struggles or what help you as a self-taught developer. Comment below. Um, that being said, guys, number one problem, again, is the plan. Um, I find that a lot of self-taught developers go too deep into the learning without necessarily getting into the practical world of application development. And when I say the practical world, I'm not talking about trying to get a, 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 um, a job at Google or some of the uh, fame companies or over in Silicon Valley. I'm talking about the standard development job at a professional services company or hospital, transportation, banking, just any general um, operation that you have in any city of the top 200. Those are the type of jobs that you need to be aiming for as a self-taught developer. If you are just that guy or girl that's a self-taught developer and you got that skill set, you're probably not watching this video. You're probably working at Google because you just got that knowledge of skills. You've been doing it forever. It comes easy. You just been doing it and people, uh, you, you found a niche that's gonna allow you to actually expand as a self-taught developer. But you're struggling, guys. Um, number one on that checklist, you have to learn domain specific knowledge of the industry in your local area. I talk about this in my seven step guide, how to get started. Links are below. It's free guys. Go ahead and sign up for it. I can't tell you how many times I have people who've taken courses on um, programming language of choice, whatever that is self-taught. They have more knowledge than me as a developer, but they can't find a job at the life of them. And they find out very quickly, it's not just a job that you actually um, get but uh, well, it's not only the programming language that you learn, it's how you apply it, how to navigate a customer tech stack, what tech stack you should learn, um, what companies use this in the industry, what their expectations, all of that stuff, guys, I can't cover in this video. We do cover my seven step guide. And if you already have my seven step guide, we also talk about that in our uh, courses below in the description box as well. Just go pick up that web development course, 30 days, get you what you need to. Uh, yeah, that's a plug. Go grab the course and it's gonna help you guys out. But at the end of the day, I find that a lot of you guys are going to struggle um, even after you learn the programming language, which is scary by the way. Um, I kind of hate it for you. Uh, hopefully you don't get into a situation where you don't do this over years and never apply for a job and find out that, hey, you gotta go back and either um, taking a different approach, learn stuff different. I help you prevent that guys. I don't want you guys to get if you work at the right program, position yourself accordingly, 
In a year, you should be able to get a software development job, maybe a junior development job. If you interview right, you can get even better than that. But I'm just saying, guys, if you position yourself accordingly, you go into the interview the right way as a self-taught developer with zero experience as a developer, but maybe you have other experience in other areas, but you know different industries, you know how to apply that, what you learn in the industry to 10X their employees for labor purposes, to have software to make sure they make less mistakes, have that industry knowledge to know where the technology needs to be implemented. Those are the skills that nobody's on YouTube talking about, but it's gonna help you guys tremendously to solve problems for the client, guys. And that's the key thing, solve problems for the client or the company that you're working for. And that's the name of the game when it comes to development. I don't care if you go to a boot camp or a college or self-taught route, if you're, if you're not solving problems, you're not gonna have that software development job long, or you, you may even not even get a chance to as an aspiring developer because your resume, your portfolio, your interview don't reflect that you understand that concept. And that's what's gonna get you a foot in the door as a self-taught developer. So let's go over the checklist. Learn not only the technical knowledge, but the industry knowledge. Number two, you gotta know how to do a good interview, guys. Really good interview. Number three, what do you learn? What do you know how to get the interviews, the proper uh, proper jobs, and all that stuff? Seven step guide. That's gonna be another one, guys. That's another thing they add to your checklist. Uh, number two, all right. Number four. <laughs> Number four, um, know where to find the work. Uh, that's where we talk about the uh, local job market research, um, the professional network and all that good stuff, guys. Again, I can't cover all that in the video, but we also talk about that in the seven step guys, um, guide as well. Number five, um, the tools that you use as a developer. This is the area that a lot of you guys probably already covered. Um, you use tools like um, your code editor, Visual Studio Code, um, Google um, series of application or Microsoft Office Suite, whatever productivity software you use for Word, Excel, all that good stuff, um, GitHub, all of repository, code source, whatever. A lot of clients that you have gonna dictate what you use because you're gonna use what they use. But, you know, again, that's one of the tools that you're gonna use. Um, Visual Studio Code got a lot of tools embedded into it that I'm covering to FTP, um, Terminal Server, all that good stuff like that. So a lot of good stuff there. Um, last but not least, just take action, guys. Take the necessary actions to get started. And that's the last thing on your checklist. Seven things that you need to check off on your checklist, guys. We talk about these in details in my seven step guide. And if you already have our seven step guide, you can actually start with our web development course that's gonna help you guys get that job you want as a self-taught developer and put you in a position to win. So if you haven't already, like subscribe to the content go ahead and share your story below guys what are you struggling with what do you need help with and what have you done correctly to get to this point go ahead and share in the comment section like subscribe to the content i'll see you guys well one more thing oh, 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 oh. i'm gonna put a link on the screen to the seven step guide go ahead and grab that and support the channel with some of the premium courses below i'll put a link on the screen here for the seven step guide i'll see you guys in the next video